Hi guys! Today I want to talk to you about setting up the one of the current streamer releases on a Ubuntu 16. Uh, one of my users has provided me very generously with a, with a server um, that I can try this out on and show you guys how it works. So um, first of all I'm going to connect to the server via SSH. I was told this is a completely clean server, nothing is pre-installed, nothing is there. So, um, uh, let's see, so I got the password here from him, and yeah, okay, so I could connect. So first thing I usually like to do is I actually exit out of this again, and I use SSH copy ID, where I copy my, um, where I copy my SSH key onto that server, um, so that I don't have to connect with the password each and every time. It's actually the more secure way to go about this. So um, by using this command, I have not accessed the server, I just copied my ID. But next time, now if I access the server again, instead of asking me for the password, you can tell it asks me for my um, my SSH password. So this is actually this is actually a really neat way of connecting to, to your server and keeping keeping it maintained. All right, uh, first things first, I'm going to create a directory under root called data. That's, per that's my personal preference. And, and then in there, I'm going to create a directory called streamer. Um, I'm going to cd into this. All right, nothing in here. Perfect. In this folder now, I'm going to use a wget command to get the current streamer war release. So let's look on the streamer page. Let's go into releases. And I'm personally, I'm gonna take this pre-release because I'm not too worried about it. Um, I know what's in there. But you probably, when you are running it and you're setting it up, you should always go with the latest stable. It's this green one. But the pre-releases, I, I am pretty confident in this one. I'm gonna probably set it as a major or a stable soon enough. So I'm just gonna go with this one. So I, I'll, use, I'll use this copy link address on the war file and use a wget command on this. Now it's gonna load the war file. Pretty quick connection right here. Perfect. Here it is. So, and then uh, secondly, I am going to download the application YAML. Now, um, something I missed here because I just do it so often, I don't even think about it anymore, but there's actually a pretty neat guide on it. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys where it is. It's, it's on this, uh, on this like promo page um, under Ubuntu setup. And here we go. So I did this wget command and now I'm gonna do a chmod. Now what chmod does, it actually changes the uh, executability. So you see now it's a red file and there's nothing in this saying it's executable, right? So this would be a little X right here. There's nothing here saying X. So by using chmod ux means my current user, which is root, can now execute this file. Um, so now it's green, right? So now it's executable. So that's done. And then the next part would be to, to w get the application YAML. So let's do that. And now we have a application YAML right here and then the streamer war right there. So what's actually in this application YAML? Let's look into it. So we have four commented outlines and then this here. So under environment production data source, we have connected the H2 driver. So this is the default that I um, that I write also about in my documentations that actually does not use MySQL or anything like that. It has an embedded database, which is really neat. But a quick note on this, if you're going to use this uh, in a like a big scale production, you should opt for the MySQL version of the whole thing. So for, for playing around with it and just getting to know the application, use H2 or for private use or whatever. But if you want to, you know, scale this up pretty big, you should use a MySQL just because you can back it up more easily and, and there are just plenty of advantages. So MySQL is the way to go if you want to use it uh, for real. <laughs> okay, so there's one more thing left to do before we can uh, we can run this. Uh, we do not have OpenJDK installed yet. So this is actually step one in this whole thing and I, I forgot about it. But Let's do it now, it's no problem. We just do it now. So we accept the license. And it's running through this installation pretty quickly. Okay, so here we are. Let's 
try to execute this. So this execution here means run whatever executable in this current folder. So let's run it. And it should it should do its thing. And finally, it's up and running. Took a little longer in this machine. I guess it's because of the RAM on this uh, on this one, but it's no problem. Um, just you know, wait it out, and it might work. And if not, you might get a heap space, heap space exception. And if that's the case, then you maybe have to up the RAM on the server a little bit. Uh, this one is using one gigabyte, so it seems just just enough. Um, so now, actually, what we're gonna do is, since it's up and running, we're gonna connect to it. We're gonna let's see here. We're gonna connect to it via the IP address, and then the port eighty eighty. And voila, here's a streamer. I'm gonna connect with the default admin admin, and there we go. Things are up and running. Uh, it's asking us to put in our information, and here we are, settings page. Everything is working perfectly. All right, so you may have noticed in between this little cut now um, that I've changed to this different interface. Really, what I've done here is um, I've just I've just connected to. Oh, wait a second, Control AD. Um, ugh. Uh, anyway, I just connected to it via BYOBU, uh, BYBOBU, as it's called, and um, and so this way you can just keep it open in the background while you do other stuff. While you even you can disconnect from this entire session and then just uh, uh, have multiple things running. That's that's one way to do it. The other way of doing it is running it as a separate service. Um, but I'm not going to show you this today. I might show you this some other time. Um, but there are docs for it in the wiki of Streamer. All right, so have fun, guys, and I hope this is running for you as well. Bye-bye.